the first prototype that I made and I hadn't quite gotten the hang of making this. I made it as if a girl, if a girl would want it with a little unicorn in the middle. So this is when it clenches so the child can actually hold something with it. And it's not completely my name is Massa Riar. I am 13 years old and I founded my company Limitless Limb last year that makes 3D printed, customizable and affordable prosthetics for children with limb loss. I read a book about a girl who lost her leg in an accident and in the book she couldn't afford a prosthetic limb and I was like how expensive could prosthetic limbs be? So I did some research and found out that they're extremely expensive and most children can't even afford them and that really made me sad because I was thinking about all the kids who live in war zones who lost their limb and can't you know buy another limb because it's not available to them. And so I had a 3D printer and I had this idea, so I decided to make 3D printed prosthetics that are a lot cheaper and they can be customized since they're 3D printed. There is a video of me building my first hand. Like, it's really long. It was really difficult to get all the pieces to fit and get them in the right spot, but I managed to figure it out. And after a lot of test tries, I got my first prototype. When I had the idea for my prosthetic limb, I consulted with an orthopedic surgeon, and these are the books that he gave me so I could figure out what, what I needed, what elements I needed to really make the prosthetic work. Then after that, I researched more online and really narrowed down my prosthetic design and printed it. I had to pitch my business, Limitless Slim, to the Young Entrepreneurs Academy Investor Panel. And I ended up winning the grand prize. I got $1,500 toward my business, and I used that to buy a new 3D printer that can make my prosthetics more functional and print them at a faster rate. So my goal with Limitless Slim is to help equip every child with limb loss with a functional limb that they can use and so that they can feel whole again and not feel different from everybody else. When I'm not working on my business in 3D printing, I love to draw because it really relaxes me. And when I grow up, I want to go into art and design and be an architect. But I still want to help people and it's always been my number one priority to help people. So even if I am an architect, I'll still be helping people and on the side with maybe 3D printing different things now, organs and hearts, I don't know.